What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the convert from UTC function in the date and times function collection. So convert from UTC is the ability to pass in a timestamp that is in UTC, and then convert it to a destination sort of time zone so you can uh, take your UTC and then convert it to something else so, uh, so let's take a look at it we're in Power Automate here we have a manual trigger flow and we have our compose action for testing click into the inputs I can go across to expression and scroll down until we get to the date and time functions and we'll click on see more and then we can scroll down until we get this one, convert from UTC. So this has a, uh, a few parameters. So it has a timestamp, a destination time zone, and then that is a format um, a parameter at the end. And the format is an optional parameter. So what we need to do is we need to pass in the, the UTC timestamp, the destination time zone we want to convert it to, and then we can decide whether or not we want to format it um, in a slightly different way than how it outputs. Now, when I was looking at this, um, I did kind of realize that one of the things it's asking for is a timestamp. So this doesn't actually take the UTC time right now. Instead, what it does is it wants you to pass in the UTC time. Now, um, that's that's a good thing because what it's actually doing is saving you a step. So um, if you use the convert time zone um, function, you would need to pass in the UTC stamp, tell it it's UTC, and then pass in the destination. But for this one, we're actually converting it from UTC. So we, um, we just need to pass in whatever parameter that is. Now, some um, some applications work in UTC, so things like um, D365 or CDS, uh, they work in a UTC style format, so all the times, uh, as well as Power Automate, all runs in UTC. So this is where this could be potentially powerful if you want to find um, when, a re when a record was created, for instance, but then convert that to the correct time zone, um, which is maybe some time sensitive information on there, uh, and you can kind of get all that information out. So if we click convert from UTC, what we will do is I'll scroll up and I will get the, I'll use the UTC now function, which I've shown in a previous video. Uh, and I use all the time for these date and time videos. That's the time zone that we're putting it in. And then as I've um, pressed uh, the um, comma there, it has popped up with the tooltip. And we have uh, this bit where it says, um, the, t the destination time zone, a string that contains the name of the time zone um, of the destination time zone and see this. Now this website is actually this website here, the Microsoft Time Zone Index Values website. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to see the index or the hex of the index for the time zone, the name of the time zone, and then the time of that time zone. So what we're actually looking for in Power Automate is the name of the time zone that we want to um, copy something into. So we could use uh, Central Standard Time, for instance. So Central Standard Time is about minus six GMT. Now GMT and UTC at the time of recording this uh, are currently in sync, so they're currently at the same time. So what we should see is we should get six hours taken away from our time that we're putting in it back over to our flow uh, and then we'll put this inside single quotation marks um, because it is a string and we don't want to, to interpret it as a number um, and we can click okay so there is this there is this uh, optional formatting which we'll look at later just click okay it goes into compose action we'll click test save and test and we'll run the flow and we'll see what happens just click done flow run successfully so time of recording it is the 30th 30th of january and it is currently eight or just after eight o'clock so 803 uh, and this uh, in the evening and this is um taking six hours away and taking it back to um three minutes past two uh, in the evening and that's that's how it's outputted 
So this is taking the UTC timestamp that we put in, um, and, and again, UTC and my time zone are the same time zone at the moment, uh, and it's taken six hours away from it and then added it, uh, and then given us the output here. It's also output it in a UTC style format, so um, we've got like the year first, then the month, then the day, a T for time, then we have the hours, the minutes, the seconds, then a milliseconds, and um, oh, actually, we don't have Z for Zulu. That's interesting. Usually in timestamps, we have a, a Z for Zulu at the end, but this one does not. I have not noticed that before. Um, but this is the this is the output that we're getting. But we do we can format this to be a bit easier to read, or we can format it to be um, converted into a time zone that is um, right for your country. So America has the time zone, um, the the date format of uh, month day year, whereas the rest of the world use um, day month year. Um, so we can convert it to be a bit more user friendly for the country that we're looking at. So I've run back to edit, and then I can click on the function or the expression that we were using. And then if we go all the way to the end, I can add another comma in, and we get a little pop-up here. So again, the tooltip is saying that the format that we're using, or the, or the, um, the way we're going to format it, is in the ISO 8601 standard. And when you don't pass something in, don't pass a, a, the optional parameter in, it formats it in the O format for the ISO for the ISO. 8601 format. So the O format is what we just saw, that sort of like year, month, day uh, with the time, um, but we can pass in another parameter. So you can check the ISO format. I'll link, I'll put a link to it in the comments down in the description below. So you can um, click on that, but you can go off and find this on the internet as well. It um, has a bunch of different ways that you can format dates, and as long as you put it into Power Automate, then the output will be something that Power Automate, um, you know, formats it the way that ISO standard wants you to, or you know, dictates that it should do. So in this instance, I'm going to put um, G. Uh, no, I'm not. I'll put D. So D is a, uh, a style of formatting that's kind of an American style format. Um, so we can output and we can see what that's going to look like. So if we click update, we see it's updated there. Yeah, it's updated there. Click on test, save and test, run the flow, click done. And we can see this. So uh, I chose the the slight wrong one there. So I'm actually just trying to change it back. I can't remember which which way around I wanted it. I think I wanted G, um, not D. Choose D, G. And we'll click test, and we'll just run this all again. But I wanted to show what that, what that looks like. Here we go. This one I wanted. So it's output in an American style format. So we've got the month first, followed by the day, followed by the year. Then we actually have a 12 hour clock and not 24 hour clock like we previously had. And we have an AM or a PM suffix at the end to denote um, what time of day it is. So this allows you to format it in a, a bit more of a user friendly format. So maybe something that's thrown on a document or maybe something that's thrown on an email to someone, uh, or maybe just a system that needs to have this style of formatting you can uh, use the formatting tool to output it in this way. And that is uh, that's how that works. So I hope this video was useful. Uh, I'd like to know what you use this function for at the moment. Let me know in the comments down below or what you might use it for in the future. If you found this video useful, please like and please share it with your friends. If uh, you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.